Here's why you don't need to use Olympic lifts when training athletes. Check it out. This is the force velocity curve. All of our neural stimulus training, our heavy lifts, our explosive stuff, speed, fall somewhere along this curve, right? So a higher force dominant movement is gonna be a greater mass move. So this is gonna be things like your maximal strength training, your heavy squats, your heavy deadlifts, things like that. Low uh, bar speed is not moving very fast at all, but a high amount of force is produced because it's a heavy load, it's a heavy mass, right? So that would be an example of a high force, low velocity movement. On the other end of the spectrum is your velocity dominant movements. Now these things are gonna be unloaded or extremely light loaded. Things like unloaded maximal effort sprints, your acceleration work, jumps, plyometrics, right? These are things that are gonna be a high speed and velocity stimulus, but with very little force produced, right? So everything's gonna fall somewhere along this continuum. So at the end, we have something like sprints. And up here is going to be something heavy like a max squat or a deadlift. All right? Olympic lifts fall somewhere in the middle. They're the best option for neither category. You'll always be able to squat or deadlift or something heavier like that more than you can clean. So it's not the best option for maximal strength. And you're certainly not going to move anything with a barbell, period, faster than you're going to do like an unloaded splinter, sprinter or plyometric. So it's not a great option for that either. So they fall somewhere in the middle here. The problem with that is there are countless other options to train this middle range, right? Things like loaded jumps of different weights, squat jumps, uh, trap bar jumps, just dumbbell squat jumps, different uh, dynamic effort movements with and without uh, accommodating resistance, bands, chains. Even if you get closer into a more velocity dominant stimulus, you're talking about things like lighter loaded jumps, more like ballistic loaded jumps where you're repeating off the ground, resisted sprints of different loads, medicine ball throws, things like that. Plenty of other options to train this middle ground that have a much lower barrier to entry from a technique and learning and mastery standpoint that Olympic lifts do, right? So every training stimulus that you could use to justify Olympic lifts can be much easier and much more efficiently trained using plenty of other methods, right? The big caveat to Olympic lifts is, and this is a big if, technique is very, very good. Unless technique is at a high level and you're putting maximal effort and really speed into each rep, you're not really applying a stimulus. That isn't mu as much of a problem to anywhere near extent with easier methods like loaded jumps, resisted sprints, even getting just basically stronger, things like that. So every stimulus that you can think of to use Olympic lifts up and down the curve there's plenty of other options that are much easier to use and get a better stimulus than using those. Even so, if you want to translate your weight room strength to the field, that's going to happen here. Your unloaded stuff, your, your max effort sprints, your agility work, your plyometrics, your jumps, maybe something over here like a resisted sprint or a heavier ballistic load of things, if you want to transfer weight room strength to the field, it's going to happen here. So, and nothing here happens with a barbell, period, right? So there's no sense in arguing over which second tier movement you want to use. Pick something that's easy to do, get a stimulus and move on with your life. Because the real transfer is going to happen here. And none of it happens until you get maximal maximally stronger, like most developing athletes do. So pick the best tools for the job, use a much easier lower uh, barrier to entry, apply a training stimulus and just move on. So that's why there's no point using Olympic lifts. Much better options, much easier to do, much more efficient and really second tier exercise anyway. Hope that helps.